ICE IS CONTINUING TO USE THE INTERNET AS A RECRUITING AND PROPAGANDA TOOL TO CONGRESSMAN SEAN DUFFY WHO SAYS THAT'S WHY THE GOVERNMENT SHOULD BE LOOKKING, uh, SHOULD NOT BE LOOKING TO GIVE UP CONTROL OF THE INTERNET. OF COURSE, uh, REPRESENTATIVE DUFFY, JUST SO THE AUDIENCE UNDERSTANDS, THE LAST PART, THE GLUE, IF YOU WILL, OF THE INTERNET, WE'RE GOING TO SEE TO uh, SOME SORT OF PANEL, INTERNATIONAL PANEL uh, OF STAKEHOLDERS. AND A LOT OF PEOPLE THINK THAT THAT'S A, a CRAZY IDEA, PARTICULARLY AT THIS TIME. Yeah, so Obama is uh, heck bent on transferring control of the internet to a foreign body uh, with people like China and Russia, Iran, uh, kind of like a UNS body. Um, and in America, we have a certain view of freedom of speech that these other countries uh, don't share. And so if you transfer control of the internet, um, I think what has made the internet great, um, the good, bad, and the ugly of the internet will be ceded now to a foreign body. As we look today and what's going on with this attack um, over the weekend in Orlando, some would say, well, maybe there needs to be some limiting components to the Internet that might shut down some of that radical speech. My concern is, is that if you have this foreign body making those decisions, yes, they might shut down jihadist conversations, but they also might shut down other what they think is offensive language that might be conservative or Christian or pro-life or LGBT, um, all language that they think sure. uh, is, is radical, they would try to shut that down too. So we walk a fine line here, and America has done a great job with freedom of speech and the Internet. We shouldn't transfer that control. I think uh, all we have to do is look at the United Nations, to your point, to understand that, they're, that what, what's important to the United Nations is not always important to America. And, and, and also, you know, we haven't even talked about the economic ramifications. The, world go, the, the world's economy travels through the Internet. This, to me, in my mind, this is just a step below, just one step below giving uh, foreign control of our nuclear codes to a panel of foreign, you know, stakeholders, if you will. Yeah. Our markets used to work as we sat around, you know, little tables in, in the uh, community square. Our markets now are online. Um, from cities and countries all over the world doing business together, making sure the Internet is free and open, uh, make sure that we have open commerce around the world. And to shut this down by way of giving it to an op a, a, a third party group that doesn't share our values is very dangerous. So I've been pushing on this. I'm on this with Ted Cruz for the last couple of years. Obama just, I mean, he, he, uh, he doesn't share that viewpoint. He's doing everything he can to make sure this, yeah. uh, this, uh, this is transferred to this foreign body, and I think it's a, a sad day for freedom and liberty and freedom of speech. Well, I wish you and uh, Representative Cruz, uh, uh, you know, luck. It's going to be tight. It's going to be close to your point because President Obama, I think this fits neatly with his one world view, and uh, I hope you guys are successful. All of us do. Thank you very much, sir. Hey, thanks. Thank hey. You.